Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back in your Fortnite video. In today's video, I want to show you guys some settings that you guys can change that could help you guys reduce the input on controller and as well just help everything feel a lot more responsive. I'm going to show you guys some things you can do in your settings for everybody and I'm also going to show you guys some settings you guys can change if you play PC and controller that can help you guys reduce the input delay on your controller. And real quick, before we get into the video, I have a V-Book giveaway. On this channel, I give away 2,000 V-Bucks every single Friday. So if you guys want a chance to win some free V-Bucks and enter this giveaway, all you guys have to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you guys do turn on those post notifications so you guys get notified for every single new video. And lastly, comment down below either your Xbox Gamer Tag, your PSN Gamer Tag, or Epic account, and you guys will be automatically entered into the next giveaway. And also, if you guys like to support me in the Atom Shop, all you guys have to do is go down to the bottom, click on support a creator, type in my code, my creator code is Young Humor, and you guys will have me added and supported as a creator. And alright guys, let's get right to the video. Alright, so in this video, I wanted to show you guys some settings that you guys can change that's very, very simple to do that can help you guys make your controller feel a lot more responsive, reduce input delay. I'm also showing you guys one thing you can do on PC with controller that can help you guys out a lot because there is a lot more you can do on PC than on console, but there is a few settings you can change on console that will help you guys out tremendously. So the first setting that you guys should change, and if you guys don't already have this setting off, you definitely want to, and that is going to be record replays. This is a setting you guys want to have off for sure because when you have record replays on, it kind of reduces your FPS just by a little bit. It's not like you're going to go from, you know, 20 FPS to 60 FPS, but it definitely makes a huge difference if you have this setting on or off. So you really want to make sure you have this setting off unless you actually use your replays for whatever the case may be. I've never gone to my replays. I think the last time I went for my replays, I was going for a thumbnail and probably one of my videos probably like a couple months ago. But other than that, I don't use replays at all and really the difference, as you can see in the top right as far as the FPS, I feel like when I had this on, I was kind of at like the low 400s is, but obviously it is kind of harder to see because it is pretty small, but I turned it off. I did feel like I was probably in like the mid 400s. I don't know, you might have to be out of the game for it to like pick up before it actually like registered as you have it on or off. But anyways, it definitely makes a huge difference on your game. So definitely turn the setting off if you ever feel like you have FPS problems, which can in turn make everything feel slow because the lower FPS you have, it makes everything feel really choppy and delayed, which could be a big reason on why maybe everything doesn't feel as responsive as it should. So make sure you have the replay setting off in your settings. So going down into the controller settings, there's a couple of things you want to do. First of all, you want to make sure you have all the boost off. Second of all, could be the dead zones. When you choose your dead zones, you want to have as low as you possibly can. And for me, I play on about 10%. I want to play on the lowest, but the thing about the lowest, I have really bad input delay. And also make sure you have look damping time off. If you feel like look damping time kind of adds like an extra dead zone. So if you have trouble aiming, this could be a good setting to help you guys aim from further distances. But if you feel like you're really delayed on your controller, you want to make sure you have that off. And as far as your dead zones, on my PS4 controller, I'm able to play on the lowest dead zones possible, but on my Xbox, I'm only able to play on about 10%, because as you can see, my stick drift is way too high, and I need to turn it up a little bit. So obviously, if you play on a really, really high dead zone, which I'll show in a second, so if you play on like a 20 or like 30 dead zone, something that high, you're going to feel like the controller is super, super delayed, and that's something I feel like myself. Even when I'm trying to build with 30 dead zone, I'm not able to. Everything feels super delayed, super awkward. So if you play in high dead zones, you definitely want to turn that down. That can make your controller feel really, really delayed. And like I said, when it comes to your stick drift, you don't want to have any on your left analog stick, but you can have a little bit on your right, which I would recommend doing. Say, for instance, you have a little bit of, you have no stick drift on 10%, but then you have just a little bit on like 8 or 7. I would probably recommend playing on like 8 or 7 if you can deal with the stick drift just a little bit. And like I said, as long as it's not on the left stick, you're fine. If it's only on the right analog stick, you have a little bit of stick drift, then I would say maybe go for that little bit lower dead zone so everything feels a little bit more responsive and that's what i would recommend to you guys just maybe going for a little bit of stick drift so you can have the lowest dead zones possible and the last setting you guys want to change is going to be your foot control you want to make sure you have this setting off and when you have this setting on it makes everything feel really loose but it does add i feel like a little bit of input delay to your controller so when you turn this setting off it makes 
long ranges. It makes it it makes everything feel a little bit more accurate, but it doesn't feel as linear as it should. But also, it makes it feel everything more responsive. And that's just the one thing I noticed about foot control. When you have it on, it makes everything feel more linear in the sense of it doesn't feel like there's any boost whatsoever. Everything feels really, really smooth, but I do feel like there's a little bit of an input delay on it. But when you have this setting off, I feel like there's no input delay. It feels really, really responsive. And as well, it just makes everything way more easier to control. So like I said, I recommend having this setting off. If you currently have it on, I would recommend turn this off. Let me know how it feels. I feel like it reduces your input delay a little bit. So these are just all the current settings that I have. And if you play on console, you, these are pretty much the only settings things you can change there's no special secret like a special bluetooth thing you can use on your console that's going to reduce your input delay so these are all the things you can do on console that are going to make the game feel as responsive as you possibly can and if you play on pc you definitely have more options like for instance if you play on bluetooth versus wireless you have a lower input delay and obviously it bases on what bluetooth device you use but for me i have a lower input delay on my controller on bluetooth than when i use the wired connection for my controller and for those of you guys who play PC with controller, what you want to do is down in my pinned comment, I'm going to have a link you can go to. And this is how to overclock your controller to make everything as responsive as possible. And so what you want to do is go down to the or to, down to my pinned comment, click on that link, it's going to come to here. And then you want to download exactly what I'm showing you. You click the download and once you do that, you click show in finder or just open. All you do is you open this file, you just want to extract all these files to your desktop. You don't have to buy anything for the uh, WinRAR. Then all you do is extract, you just highlight everything, and then you put extract to, and you can put it to desktop, you can put whatever to you want, but it's just easier if you put it on your desktop so you can see where all the files are. And once you do, you're going to hit OK. And once you hit OK, for me, I already had all, this, all the files already saved on my computer. And you can see that because all the messages are coming up saying you already have this file. And I'm just hitting yes through all of them. So I pretty much just duplicated everything and it doesn't matter. You just hit it. And once you do that, you want to go to your to your file. This is the file here. You click on that file. And what you want to do is this thing's going to come up. You want to go down to the setup location on this file. And obviously you can make a new folder for this because it's going to show up in like five different things. So you can hit new folder, throw everything into the folder, and then everything is going to show up in this folder in this order and then you want to go down towards the bottom on setup you click on setup and then you go up to the top it says mice you want to click on all so you can see all the commands for everything and you want to go to the one that says wireless controller and now i already have mine overclocked so that's why it says the 1000 and so yours is probably going to say like default and then the number next to it's going to be like a four or five so what you want to do is so you want to have your controller wired into your computer and once you do that you want to click on the number then you click install devices and once you click install devices then what you want to go do is go over to the filter on device while still having this highlighted then you want to go to where the drop down menu is click on a thousand then what you want to do is the last thing you have to do is just unplug your controller and then you plug it back in and it should work just fine and you know it works when you plug it back in and it still says 1000 next to the wireless controller then that's how you know you have your controller overclocked this makes everything super super responsive and if you ever have any problems with this you can obviously just not use it but i've had no problems it's worked very very well and everything felt a lot more responsive and a lot better so like i said there's obviously a lot more things you can do on controller and pc than console but those are all the settings i would recommend changing that are going to make a huge difference on how your controller feels your input delay and everything like that how responsive just everything feels in the game so those are all the settings that i would recommend for you guys to change i don't really think there's too many other things you can do like i mentioned earlier if you do play on controller on pc playing on a wireless connection on a bluetooth having a little adapter is going to be faster than wire connection you're gonna have less input delay so that is something to keep in mind as well but when you change all these settings you guys are definitely going to feel a big difference on your game if you didn't change any of these settings already so with that being said that's wrap up for this video if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys liked it make sure you guys do drop a like make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already make sure you guys do turn on post notifications so you guys get notified for every single new video and as well i do live stream every single day on this channel at six o'clock eastern standard time make sure you guys do come by my live streams i know there's a ton of you guys who come by i think my live streams been getting like fifty thousand views each which is absolutely crazy you guys have been showing me crazy support and you guys seem to enjoy my live stream so definitely come by if you guys haven't already or if you guys just forgot it's six o'clock eastern standard time but with that being said i appreciate you guys watching the video and all right guys i'll see you next video